Time now for the morning rush. We begin with breaking overnight news. PNM is reporting 621 customers are without power in southwest Albuquerque. This is in the area of Isleta and Arenal. Now, PNM says it's due to a car hitting two power poles. They also say that those who lost power could be without electricity until about noon. At last word, crews are still working to fix those down poles. The power outage was reported at around 3 this morning. You can see from the video that the street is blocked off as crews continue to work. On to other news this morning. One person remains in the hospital with critical injuries. Two others are dead. This after the car they were riding in went airborne, then careened into an apartment building. Police say it happened on Chelwood Park near Constitution Sunday morning. APD says a 90s Mustang driving at high speed ran a stop sign. The driver then lost control. Three people were ejected from the Mustang. Cameron Wentzhausen and another unidentified man died. Melanie Trujillo was rushed to UNM Hospital and listed as critical. Police are looking into if alcohol was a factor in this. Kristen. When it comes to rain chances, these will start over western New Mexico today before slowly pushing into central New Mexico. Later on tonight and into tomorrow, you'll notice tomorrow morning likely going to be dodging some showers. And then these really start to fill in late Tuesday into Wednesday. Risk of heavy rain possible with this storm moving through. David. Check your refrigerator. This morning, health officials are saying that the prepackaged salads sold in New Mexico at Whole Foods or Trader Joe's, rather, and Trader Joe's stores, could be contaminated with listeria and or salmonella. These salads produced from October 1st through last Thursday or with best by dates of Sunday or Monday have been recalled. Now, right now, there are no reports of anyone getting sick. Police are likely reviewing surveillance video from a motel near the scene of a deadly shooting. Today we're expecting to learn more about that shooting, including the name of the suspect taken into custody. This morning we know the victim's identity. APD says 24-year-old Dennis Angermeyer was found shot dead near I-25 in Candelaria on Friday. This was in a field near Motel 1. Police say they made the arrest on Friday. We did some checking and the man accused of hitting and killing a pedestrian, then fleeing the scene, is waking up behind bars this morning. It happened on Saturday just before noon in downtown Albuquerque. Police say Matthew Lowe ran over the pedestrian at 1st and Central, then drove off to the express in at 10th and Central. Officers were able to catch him, uh, catch up with him rather, and Lowe reportedly admitted to being under the influence of drugs. There's no word on the name of the person that was killed. We have until November 3rd to vote early, but already several New Mexicans have cast their ballot. According to the Secretary of State, over the weekend, the most 13,000 Bernalillo County residents turned out to cast their ballots early. In total, more than 72,000 New Mexicans have now voted in the midterms. For more information on early voting, head on over to krqe.com. Look for the 2018 elections tab. Beginning today, crews will start to work and adding more parking spaces on the La Luz Trailhead. In addition to the 24 extra spaces, there will be improvements on the traffic flow in the area and adding better signage to trailhead facilities. Now, there will also be some closures while the work is being done, but you'll still be able to reach the trail. Construction is scheduled to last through February or March of next year. Kristen? Today's Metro Threat Index added three, looking at some chilly temperatures this morning in those 40s and 50s, but the showers likely to arrive later on this afternoon into this evening. So if you know you're going to be out late tonight, make sure to keep the umbrella on standby. Crystal? On to new news this morning, the University of New Mexico is trying to figure out why freshman enrollment plunged over a year. According to the Albuquerque Journal, the number of first-time freshmen at UNM dropped by 566 students between fall 2017 and fall of 2018. That's a 17.6% decrease. The journal reports UNM is establishing an enrollment task force. Recently, they surveyed prospective students about why they did not choose UNM and which schools they did choose. Kenneth Starr, the former president of Baylor University and an investigator into the Bill Clinton administration, will be discussing his work at the UNM School of Law on November 1st. Now an accountant at UNM is protesting in a letter to the editor of the Daily Globo. He is saying that Starr's scandalous history should keep him from being a distinguished lecturer at the only law school here in New Mexico. Starr was forced to resign as president of Baylor in 2016. The reason why and what he's accused of ahead in the five facts. In light of recent incidents on UNM's campus and a community policing campaign titled hashtag UNM strong, strong together, UNM police are urging students to download the Rave Guardian app once again. The app lets you identify friends and, as guardians, sending alerts to a specified group if you don't reach your destination within the amount of time entered in the app settings. The app is completely anonymous. Students, faculty and staff can also submit tips and pictures to police. Kristen. 
Time now for a check on your Monday morning commute. Nothing major popping up on the roadways right now. Looking pretty good on both I-40 and I-25. And a look at the big guy moving smoothly. Of course, I'll keep eyes on that throughout the morning. Let you know of any updates. Look at this. The world's longest cross sea bridge is opening today. It connects the east and west sides of the Pearl River Delta in South China. The bridge is 34 miles long. It's set to lessen the travel time between Hong Kong and uh, the neighboring uh, city there, four hours to 45 minutes. Despite the focus on drive time, however, private car owners in Hong Kong will not be able to cross a bridge without a special permit. Tom, now for the five facts. Number five, now beginning today, work will begin at the La Luz Trailhead. In addition to 24 extra parking spaces, there will be improvements to traffic flow and adding more signs to trailhead facilities. There will be some closures in the area while work is being done, but you will still be able to reach the trail. Construction is scheduled to last through th February or March of next year. And number four, Kenneth Starr, the former president of Baylor University and an investigator into the Bill Clinton administration, will begin discussing his work at the UNM School of Law on November 1st. Now an accountant at UNM is protesting in a letter to the editor of the Daily Lobo. He's saying that Starr's scandalous history should keep him from being a distinguished lecturer at the only law school here in New Mexico. Starr was forced to resign as president of Baylor in 2016. At number three, looking at temperatures in those 50s, 60s, and 70s for today, with the showers likely to start to the west and then eventually push into the state Tuesday, Wednesday for most areas here. But this does clear out Thursday into Friday. So over the next 48 hours, we're going to be looking at potential for heavy rain and localized flooding. Make sure you have that umbrella on standby starting later on tonight. Number two, now one person remains in the hospital with critical injuries this morning. Two others are dead. This after the car they were riding in went airborne and careened into an apartment building. This is all that's left of that apartment this morning. Police still investigating if alcohol was a factor in this crash. Police say it happened on Chelwood Park near Constitution just before 3 on Sunday morning. Here's surveillance video before the crash happened. APD says a 90s Mustang driving at a high rate of speed ran a stop sign. The driver then lost control. Police said the car slid sideways and hit a landscaping boulder before landing in the apartment. Three people were ejected from that Mustang. Cameron Renshausen and another unidentified man died. Melanie Trujillo was rushed to UNM Hospital with critical injuries. Neighbors say the street is common for speeding, but they have never seen a crash of this magnitude before. And at number one, PNM is reporting 621 customers are without power in southwest Albuquerque. This is in the area of Isleta and Arenal. Now, PNM says it's due to a car hitting two power poles. Some could be without power until about noon. This as crews work to fix those down lines. The power outage was reported at around 3 this morning. The street may still be blocked off in the area as crews continue to repair the damage.